Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like my content, leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, let me know what you liked about it. And hey, click on the little like button. But please, if you want, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my channel out. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos. And if you want, click on the bell icon to get notified. Right? Right? Huh? One out of two. Not bad. Okay, here we are guys. Another episode. How's this poor guy doing? Ah, uh, you know what? He's doing okay. He actually has moved from, he moves from one side of the tank to the other. Hopefully trying to get water and to drink, um, but we really have to help him with his mobility. Now, I didn't film the first time, but I did feed him two pinky mice, but it was a bit rough. Um, chop him up. He didn't really know how to eat them. Guts everywhere, and I had to just keep like spooning the remnants into his mouth. So what are we going to do today? Well, like the title says, we've got to tackle these nails. So his nails are severely overgrown severely so to do this i've got a few things ready i have a little lid here with some cornstarch in it chances are we're going to cut some veins here and uh it's not going to cause pain but there can be a little little bit of blood that is not a major concern guys you just dip it in the cornstarch great clotting agent and that will take care of it uh, and as always we have the iodine ready just in case, you know, it's a little bit of a big tear and we need to uh, stop it from getting infected. Uh, we're going to be using some small nail clippers devoted to them. I've got a little napkin here. Uh, and then I have the filer to the right, but I don't think we're going to need it today. Uh, if we want just a good overview of him, he's got some other areas of stuck shed that are going to need to be treated soon that are kind of turning into boulders. But I want to wait on those. I want to get these nails done because I have to help with his mobility. Because mobility is already tough for this guy. Now we want to talk about, hey guys, you trim your, your reptiles' nails and everything and ways to do it. But he has some massively... Where are we going? Where are we going? You're going to leave? You can't leave. We're about to trim your nails. He has some massive overgrown nails. So let's, let's go into the bearded dragon first of all, right? We've got a desert ground on the sands, on the rocks. We, we don't have... Uh, this guy's not arboreal. He's not climbing trees. He's not hanging from branches. He just moves around on the ground. So what do super overlong nails do? They make it hard to walk. And one of the big things I'm going to look at is his back feet. So remember, everything, when we look at his front hands, they're not too bad. But we want to look at a, a claw, and it wants to kind of sit flush. And then when he needs to, he can hook down. So yeah, he's got some, some large ones in the front. We can nip those and get rid of these tips here. But the back is what I really want to show you guys. So think about this. How do you walk? And they're all different lengths, unfortunately. But look at me putting his foot, his nails flat. His foot, his foot cannot get anywhere near the ground. It's on a huge gap. He's walking on all of these little nails here by a lot. I mean, it, it can't get anywhere near it the way that his nails, the, how overgrown they are. You, you can see, let me open this up. They've been trimmed before. And normally, like the rule of thumb would be like trim just where that tip is down. But these need to be trimmed back to like here, which is why we could get uh, some bleeding. There, there would be a conservative way to do this. would be trim it a little bit and that vein's going to retreat. But I'm going to show you what's happening because that's not going to do it quick enough with his nails. They're, they're being turned. So let's look at this one. They're being turned. Uh, get that out of the way. See how his nail is straight? His finger is pointing straight that way and the nail is facing the camera. Uh, hopefully you can pick that up. It turns, it twists. Definitely from the side here. Because, yeah, look how bent that is. Because he's walking on it, he's, he's damaging where it grows. And again, try to lay this flat, right on a flat surface. Look how high up his feet are. You can really see how both nails are curved there. Uh, so, you know, these are about almost twice the length of what they should be. So just trimming the little tip, it, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. It's going to be hard for him to walk. It's going to be painful for him to walk. 
Come here. Focus on him, not on the napkin. And, well, we need to fix that. That's just it. We just need to fix it. That's all we need to do. Come here. Let me see this front hand. Oh, you just, you just wanted to roll over right there? Come on. He's still weak, guys, but <clears throat> like I said, he's got more energy than, than he used to. Okay. Come here. Zoom this in. Let's take a look. Wow, we actually got one clear hand. Now, his fronts are not that bad. Not that shocking. Let's trim these little tips on the fronts here. That's what we're going to do because they're a good length. We're just going to get rid of little sharp pieces. This one's a little long, so we're going to trim it. This one's really long. There we go. Look underneath. There is no blood. Everything is all good. What we can do is spin them around so we can show you doing the other front. Come here. Very nice. Focus up. Yeah, and these these have been trimmed before. Not, not great um, because they don't wear like this. This is another instance of the nail curve in his little middle nail right there. And we've got to take it back and kind of fix the angle on it too. So it's like that. This nail is curving. It's really long. Let me make sure we stay in frame. It's hard to keep some of this stuff in frame. We've got to take it back and fix the angle. Very nice. And then this one, <clears throat> nearly completely sideways, unfortunately. Not a whole lot we're going to be able to to do, but we are going to take it back and we are going to fix the angle. He's going to want to leave. Buddy, <clears throat> we're almost done with the front here. This, If you're like this on the front ones, this is the easy one. Come here. We got to take... Now, see, this is really long. His nail should really be about this length. That's about half. We're not going to take half, but we're going to take a good chunk, about a third. Okay. And... It is all dead nail. There is no blood coming out, which is good. Again, we have ready our cornstarch, just in case. Back foot time. And yeah, all of his nails are just turning back here. Very unfortunate. We're gonna take you back in angle. Very good. And I hope you guys can see how much I'm taking off here. I'm still trying to take off a conservative amount. Look at this. It's about half that nail. Uh, but, you know, we have to stop this crookedness. So if we have to do a little cornstarch, we do a little cornstarch. But nope, that nail is so dead and just so long and overgrown, the vein doesn't even get to there. Here is our really curled one. We're going to take it back. You got to be careful, guys. So... I have to remember to keep us in frame. Sorry, guys. Luckily, you didn't miss this. <clears throat> he moves, and then I forget to move the camera. This back one is so curved, but when I go to cut it, it gets very dangerous because I get very close to the other nail. So you want to make sure you separate the toes. Now, this one is curved, so we're going to go up a little bit higher. That way, we can change the angle. All right. Now, see, he pulled away on that one, so that we may have gotten a little bit of blood on that. Nope, we didn't. It just stretched his toe a little bit. Man, so there's no blood flow to any of these tips, huh? That's unfortunate. I'm going to finish up this foot. That's really unfortunate. Which means these have been overgrown for a long time. He has not gotten a maintenance yeah no blood on any of them so i finished up his left foot remember before none of his feet his foot bottom couldn't touch now when we do this it's much closer not all the way yet but it's much closer which is really nice when we flip to this side we have those huge distances so I'm going to trim up this foot, guys, um, just more of the same, and then I'm going to show you. I'm just going to cut out and then cut back to when he's all done. Okay, and we are all done, guys, and we have a little bit of blood. 
you can see it right there. I haven't corn starched it yet on the uh, on this back left foot. Um, three nails, this one, this middle one, and the bottom two. Uh, and it's just ever so slightly a pool, nothing bad. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to take care of that right now. But these were really twisted, so I really had to cut them a little bit shorter than I would like to get the twist out though. Uh, and the twist is out. So you can take just a little cornstarch on your finger. Again, you don't have to react, you don't have to go crazy. And just boop, boop, right on there. And boop, right on there. That's it. That's how you treat nails <laughs> that you may, maybe you cut a little too short, whether you have to or you didn't. And then the only thing is we're gonna pick him up and he's gonna be able to walk so much better now. He, he looks very excited. You excited to walk better? Yeah? Yeah, oh, hello. He's got a little bit of red on him, guys. That's actually from his food, his powdered up bearded dragon food. Uh, I just do a once over of all the toes again, right? I want to make sure there's no jagged edges. I want to make sure there was no bleeding that I missed or maybe took a little while to get started. No, they didn't. Cool. So in a month, when the vein retreats from where it's been cut, I'll be able to come back and trim his toes one more time and just finish him up. But, I mean, just look at them. They're so much better in terms of length. Look how much closer his feet sit. His back heel can touch now. Uh, he's going to walk so much more comfortable, right? No? Guess not. And look, anyone who's catching this, he's moving. He's working both arms, which is really important. And he's put on weight, guys. So thanks for sticking with me. Thank you, everyone on Patreon. Uh, we're going to start some couple new reptiles that I've rescued and like with him. So I'm going to put some name polls up soon for the people on Patreon. And I can't thank you guys enough. Like I say in every video, thank you. You allow me to rescue guys like this, get them back up to health and get them into a good family so they can live a long, you know, bearded dragon, 15 to 20 year, beautiful life. And there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to just because they're not a dog or a cat. They still need rescuing. Take care.